In this video, we're going to review the Viltrox DC70 Mach 2 4K field monitor coming right up. What's up everybody, Phil with Bull City Pictures here with an unboxing and a review of the Viltrox DC70 Mach 2 4K field monitor. 4K is a bit of a misnomer, we'll get into that in a minute though. Um, surprisingly it came with a battery and a battery charger, Sony NPF50. You can see the box here, it's got specs in Chinese, if you can read Chinese I think you'll be alright. But let's go ahead and unbox this and see what's in the box. Assuming we can actually get this apart. Got some instruction manuals. Looks like it's actually an English registration card. Some tasty mints, of course. Just kidding, don't eat those. Comes with a bag. This is the monitor itself. It's a seven inch monitor. It's pretty hefty. You can see here we've got HDMI in, HDMI out. It does have a DC in which is great. It doesn't come with an adapter but if you want to use a standard adapter you can use that. I'll show the specs. I actually showed the specs at the beginning. comes with the NPF battery holder battery release. You've got headphones, quarter 20 and a mic in. So if you don't, if your camera doesn't have headphones and if it does have a mic input you want to hear, you can actually plug your mic and your headphones in here. Got another quarter 20 on the top, quarter 20 on the side with the on off button, a USB port for upgrades, and then this is for the menu. Comes with its own shade that's built in that kind of pops up and open. So you can see that's the sun shade. comes with a mount. So this goes into the monitor and then this goes into your shoe on your camera. Comes with an HDMI, regular size to micro, and an HDM si a regular HDM to HDMI mini. So let's what comes in the box, let's get into the review part of this. I'm going to go over the features, uh, show you how it works, and then we'll come back with conclusions and my thoughts about this. Viltrox DC70 Mach 2 4K field monitor. So here it is unpackaged. You can see the monitor itself. I took the sunshade off. HDMI in and out. DC power and you've got the battery on, the battery release. Again, you can see the microphone port. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. You can see right now there's no signal. So I wanted to show you the way you can kind of navigate through the menus. This wheel on the side is what you use. And you use it as a jog to move down. And then you can press it in if you want to move over. So if you can change any, you want to change any of the menu settings. And just use that wheel. Return. And you can see the basic menus. It's stated as a 4K monitor. It really means that it accepts 4K input. So on my Panasonic G85, which is what I'm filming this with, I can run my HDMI out, and, um, sorry, out from the monitor into the camera, and you'll actually see a 1080 by 800 screen. Sorry, a 1024 by 600 screen, 1024 by 600. That's the resolution of this monitor, so it will take a 4K signal and then downsample it. 
it does have again you can use dc power any, anywhere from 8 to 18 volts will fit in you can use the mpf 550 570 750 770 series batteries from sony it's got again that port usb port made for software updates i did check their website i didn't see any software updates but it's got a bunch of different features as far as um, assists go you can there's um, actually focus peaking on this you can do change the color temperature adjust the brightness and contrast the colors and tones you can change the volume there are actually i didn't point that out there are a couple speakers on the back here which actually can lead to feedback if you don't turn the speakers down um, it's going to compete with the speakers on your camera it seems to be uh, fairly bright looks like it could be brighter it's an ips panel you can again you can turn the brightness up a little bit it should be good in the sun because of the sunshade but if not for the shade i think as you can see here there's some glare i think probably get a bit of glare in the sun if not for that sunshade it's fairly hefty i bought this for two reasons one to work in the studio and it's been great in the studio so far i'll just attach it to the gx85 or g85 and use that turn it around so that i can see more of the screen the, the g85 screen is about three inches so this definitely is a big advantage over that it does again have the quarter 20 so if you want to set it up on a vlog you can put your microphone basically anywhere and you can actually set this up in any way with the quarter 20s on it um, i bought it to vlog as well thinking with my xt20 which doesn't have a forward facing screen that i could use this but i'd have to say it's, it's got to be at least a pound or a pound and a half and that will that will add some serious weight to your vlogging setup so i don't know if i'm actually going to use it for vlogging but as a studio monitor so far it's been great again i haven't used it in bright sunlight but i'm sure if i chose to that shade would keep it nice and clear and, and visible um, i've used it like i said for a little bit now it's for 115 dollars 120 dollars which is what i paid it's really hard to beat this again it's a seven inch monitor i'm going to show you what it looks like connected to a camera and then i'll let you know more of what i think so now you can see it's connected to my fuji xt20 you can get an idea on the brightness of the picture so it's it's fairly bright you can see it's cropped a little bit but it does show you all the information on the same on the screen that you have on the camera screen so it looks again it's pretty fairly bright i don't know that it's the brightest monitor out there but again for the price you have to remember this is a under 150 dollar monitor so if you wanted to change again the settings you do that here i want to go over the pros and cons the, the first pro obviously is that it's inexpensive it's a seven inch monitor for you know 120 dollars is what i paid for it your prices may vary it's got pretty good brightness it comes with a sunshade built in it came with a battery and a battery charger it came with the hdmi cable it's got a bunch of assist features as well so if you're into um, true video making when you want to see focus peaking and some different things that you might be more interested in video than let's say I am I'm not all that interested necessarily in those features I just wanted it to basically show me what's on the camera for that it's perfect and again you can look in the specs at the, at the beginning of the video to pause them to see about the assist features the con one con is this menu is really fiddly it's not the easiest thing to use but I guess after a while you can kind of get used to that and forgive it again for the price. Um, I really can't think of any other cons other than the fact that you know the monitor could be a little brighter and the resolution is low but again it's a hundred and twenty dollar monitor so if you wanted to bump up that resolution there are certainly other options out there that would be more expensive but will suit your needs a little better so this is the volt sorry viltrox dc 70 mach 2 4k and again that 4k means it'll accept a 4k signal but it doesn't display 4k it's 1024 by 600 fill with bull city pictures thank you so much for taking the time to view this review if you like what you saw please consider subscribing if you do subscribe please click on that bell icon that will alert you whenever we upload videos and you'll be the first to know Thanks again, and we'll see you again in the next video.